Uh, the collection is very feminine and also futuristic style, romantic. Uh, the inspiration was mostly Art Deco and artist and um, architecture of the beginning of the 20th century. Um, the fabric is silk, a lot of silk and velvet. There is a problem with post-Soviet Union designers that they want to make feminine clothes but it turns out to be vulgar. So it's nice that uh, Lera Lechova just showed the collection that it was so feminine but it was in a good day. Я просматривала фильмы Тима Бартона и отталкивалась от того, что я хочу создать те вещи, которые бы Тим Бартон взял в свой фильм, ну, которые бы ему понравились. I also like Anna Kalamoy's collection because it's surprising that she's just 17 and she makes something like this. So it's interesting to see what she's gonna show uh, next seasons. Yeah. I think she's an interesting newcomer. I heard that some of the designers need some help, so I just, you know, I volunteered to, you know, help them, and I think we did a good job together. I hope they are, you know, happy with the with the with, with the runway, and I think we did a good job. Меня вдохновляли вулканические извержения, лава, ее цвет, фактура, вязкость, ее разные состояния, как застывшая лава, так и растекшаяся лава. Вдохновлялась в общем атмосферой и старалась передать максимально все текстуры, фактуры в ткани. It was very exciting. They are so enthusiastic and they have great talents. It was great to work with them, really nice. Um, they were learning so much today. We were teaching them how it all works and they picked it up so quickly. It was great. При создании своей новой коллекции я вдохновлялась, во-первых, своим любимым черным цветом и супрематизмом Малевича. Это черный квадрат, черный круг у него есть. Потом это школьная форма, это советская школьная форма и школьная форма разных стран. I have the impression of both shows and actually all the shows that we've seen today of a very interesting work and very interesting maturity even though some of these designers are very young. Um, of course there's always the question of uh, whether it was to your taste or not and uh, but I found all uh, two shows to be very interesting and uh, I particularly like the second one because it's always a risk to be in a monochrome palette and I think she worked very well with that.